Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on leveling. Let us read the question. The following consecutive readings were taken with a dummy level. The readings are given. The instrument was moved after second, fourth, and eighth readings. The first reading was taken on the stuff held on the benchmark of reduced level, 132.135 meter. Calculate the reduced level of the points and apply the arithmetical check. The instrument was moved after second, fourth, and eighth readings. The second one, the fourth one, and the eighth one. We need to mark these readings differently. You can see that I have given different colors to those readings. These readings will be the foresight. Also, we know that the last reading will be the foresight. So, totally there are four foresights. First, let us do the problem by rise and fall method. Let us make the table. First, in the table, there will be station, then back site, intermediate site, foresight, rise, fall, reduced level, and remarks. We know that the first reading should be the back site, and this is the foresight. We already know that. In between these two readings, there is no other reading, so there will be no intermediate site. The first reading we can write in the back site, and the next reading we should write in the foresight. After the foresight, the next reading should be the new back site. It should be in the same station of the foresight, that is the station number 2. This is the back site, and this is the foresight. In between both of these two readings, there is no other reading. So here also there is no intermediate site. After the back sight, we can write the foresight. We know that after the foresight, there will be back sight. This back sight should be in the same station of the foresight. This is the back sight and this is the foresight. In between, there are two readings. So these two readings will be intermediate sight. After the back sight, we can enter them and then we can enter the foresight. After the foresight, the reading should be back sight, but it should be in the same station. This is the back sight and the last reading should be the foresight. In between both of them, we have one reading. This should be the intermediate sight. After the intermediate sight, let us enter the foresight. The reduced level of the benchmark is given in the question as 132.135. In the stations 2, 3 and 6, there are back sight and foresight. These stations are the turning points. Now we are going to find the rise and fall. Before that, we need to separate the readings from the back sight to the foresight. This is the back sight and this is the foresight. We can circle that. This is the back sight and the foresight. This is the back sight and this is the foresight. This is the back sight and this is the foresight. So totally four. First, let us take the first one. From the previous videos, we know that to find rise and fall from the back sight to the foresight, we have to subtract all of the readings. If we get a positive value, that will be in the rise. And if we get a negative value, that will be in the fall. This minus this, we will get a negative value. So that should be in the fall. Now let us take the second one. This minus this, we will get a positive value. So that should be in the rise. Now let us take the third one. This minus this, we will get a negative value. So it should be in the fall. This minus this, we will get a negative value, so that also should be in the fall. This minus this, we will get a positive value, so that should be in the rise. Let us take the last one. This minus this, we will get a negative value, so that should be in the fall. And finally, this minus this, we will get a negative value, so that should be in the fall. The first reduced level is given. Using that, we can find other reduced levels. To find the reduced level of a station with the reduced level of the previous station, if it is rise, we have to add, and if it is fall, we have to subtract. 
the first one is uh, fall we have to subtract this minus this we will get this the next one is rise so we have to add when we add these two we will get this the next one is uh, fall so we have to subtract this minus this we will get this the next one is also fall this minus this we will get this the next one is rise so we have to add when we add these two we will get this the next one is fall so we have to subtract this minus this we will get this the last two one is also fall so we have to subtract this minus this we will get this now let us find the summations we have to add all of the back side so that we will get this when we add all of the four sides we will get this when we add all of the rise we will get this and when we add all of the falls we will get this now we have to apply the check the difference between the summation of foresight and the summation of backside will be equal to the difference between summation of fall and summation of rise that will be equal to the difference between the first oral and the last oral when we calculate all three we will get the same value hence okay now we are going to do the same problem by height of collimation method in this method in the table we will have the stations backside intermediate site foresight height of collimation reduced level and then the remarks there are four backsides in every backside there will be height of collimation so the height of collimation will be here 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 and here to find the height of collimation we have to add the back side and to reduce to level we have to start from the first station in the first station we have both of them when we add both of them we will get this to find the reduced level in the next station we have to subtract the intermediate side or the four side by the height of collimation in the second station we have the four side the height of collimation minus the foresight we will get this in the second station we have new backside so we need to find the new height of collimation we have to add the backside with the reduced level so that we will get the new height of collimation to get the reduced level in the third station we have to subtract the foresight by the height of collimation so that we will get this in the third station we have new back side so we have to find a new height of collimation when we add the back side to the reduced level we will get that to find the reduced levels in the stations 4 5 and 6 we have to subtract the intermediate sides and the four side by the height of collimation this minus this we will get this this minus this we will get this and this minus this we will get this in the sixth station there is a new back side so we have to find a new height of collimation when we add the back side with the reduced level we will get that now we can find the reduced levels in the station 7 and 8 this minus this we will get this and finally this minus this we will get this we need to add all of the back sides so that we will get this and we need to add all of the four sides so that we will get this then we have to apply the check the summation of four sides difference the summation of back side will be equal to the difference between the first oral and last oral for both of them we will get the same value hence okay now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video